While it's important you have a sound understanding of the airplane engine and its operation, it's not as critical that you know what every rod, piston, cylinder, and valve are doing at any given moment in flight, or memorize every last speck on the oil container. But one thing that good pilots do is learn a healthy respect for engines. Engines appreciate being treated with tender, loving care, and they reward this with years of trouble-free operation. If throttle movements, for example, are smooth, the engine feels good about the hand on the throttle. On the other hand, the engine doesn't respond well when pilots are rough on the throttle and make rapid inputs. Airplane engines are more sensitive than your average car engine and require gradual temperature changes. For example, after the start, let the engine run for a minute or so before using a lot of power to taxi, especially in cold weather. This allows the cylinder head temperature to rise gradually before applying full power and the oil to warm for adequate lubrication. Cold oil could also result in excessive oil pressure at high power settings. A rule of thumb is to not use full power for takeoff less than four minutes after startup in warm weather, six minutes in cold weather. That gives the engine oil you just learned about time to warm up and for the lubrication process to be complete. There may be more specific guidance in your POH. Much is made about the cost of aircraft engines, but they're actually quite reliable and economical. The engine in the Skyhawk is good for 2,000 hours between overalls, which equates to over 200,000 miles, and may even last quite longer with good care.